انتفاضة وبدنا اياها انتفاضة وبدنا اياها اعلناها اعلناها It's a lot of anti-Semitism all over the world As far as the Arabs are concerned the only good Jews are Jews who don't live here We're in uh, Nablus in Palestine's West Bank, where overnight some Palestinian youths uh, set fire to Joseph's tomb. It's a sacred site, uh, holy to uh, the Jewish population here. Um, the Palestinian security forces are deployed in strength around it. They won't allow us to film with, with filming this uh, surreptitiously. It's, it seems likely this will be a flashpoint later today. <laughs> They're singing a song about uh, Joseph the Righteous. Joseph's tomb yesterday was desecrated, not for the first time, unfortunately. It's been several times, even though according to the Oslo Accords, we should be allowed free entry into there. That doesn't actually happen in, uh, in reality. It's, uh, Joseph was, was buried there, and it's a very, it has a lot of historical significance for us, a lot of spiritual significance for us, and it's a terrible thing. And the world is suddenly, inexplicably silent. You know, I find it very, very difficult to understand how this hypocrisy comes about. Unfortunately, people don't like Jews. There's a lot of anti-Semitism all over the world. Anti-Semitism is rampant. Uh, there's a lot of problems with the Muslims. As far as the Arabs are concerned, the only good Jews are Jews who don't live here. And dead Jews are even better, and definitely not to have the Jews. As far as they're concerned, the land of Israel should be using wine. I think we've been in a third intifada for a long time. It's not officially called that. Maybe it's not politically correct to call it that, but we've been in the middle of an intifada for a very, very long time. They're brought up to kill Jews. This is what they want to do. They see this as being a wonderful, wonderful aim. But we believe in God. We believe everything's going to be okay. And we're not going anywhere. We're staying here. And we're going to build the land of Israel. And uh, with God's help, everything will be okay. Yesterday, uh, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry spoke to the Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. Abbas uh, assured Kerry that he'll do everything in his power to uh, clamp down on the growing wave of protests across occupied Palestine. But the issue is whether Abbas actually has that power, whether he's actually able to, to speak to the youths in the street to order them to uh, de-escalate the crisis. Hamas, uh, the Palestinian Authority's uh, political rival uh, across Palestine, has called for a day of rage. Uh, we can see Palestinian security forces deploying uh, in the street just outside this mosque. It's likely the protests will continue uh, throughout the day. The worship here has come out of the mosque. Uh, they're heading towards the centre of Nablus. But it's in the interest of the Palestinian Authority, led by Mahmoud Abbas, to clamp down on these protests to stop any clashes breaking out. This protest here, what's it for? What's it being called to, to show? ضد المحتل شعبنا الفلسطيني مل المفاوضات مل التفاوض وبالتالي هو هذا الشباب قرر ان بيده باتفاح بنظال ان يصل الى حقوق الشعب الفلسطيني It seems to be very much uh, a youth led uh, uprising or series of protests and demonstrations to what extent are the other Palestinian political factions are Fatah or Hamas able to coordinate and able to control what's going on in the streets هذا الجيل الذي خبر أن التفاوض لن يوصل إلى نتيجة استلم زمام الأمور الحركات السياسية من فتح إلى حماس كلها لن ليست هي صاحبة القرار هنا أصحاب القرار هم هؤلاء الشباب لكن هذه ميزة الحراك الآن هو حراك بلا حاضن سياسي وبلا حاضن تنظيمية وبالتالي نقول كما هو الجماهير هنا كما هم الشباب موحدين هذا الرسالة إلى فتح وحماس لإنهاء الانقسام واستعادة الوحدة الوطنية <تصفيق> Hey, the security.
Inevitably, the protests have moved on from the centre of Nablus to the checkpoint here. Uh, a small knot of uh, youth standing off against the Israeli army about 100 metres up that way. Every Palestinian here fight for his right, for in Jerusalem, for his land, for everything. Like if you have a sister, someone is doing something bad for your sister. What are you doing? You fight for her. That's you do, really. And what we have, just a lump of glass, a rock, and a knife. Do you think that, uh, that coming out into the streets like this, do you think it will make any difference? Do you think it will yeah, help really. in any way? I, I know that we have a right here. It's our land, it's our, uh, our home. Some of people injury, it's okay. We have many people. We have money to stall the whole world. We fight in our land. So the Friday prayers processed in uh, Nablus has fizzled out into the sultry standard for the IDF who have come over to Say hi. Hi there. Hello. Hi, it's low. Let's go. Can we film from here? Where can we film from? Where can we? So, as I was saying earlier, the process we saw earlier in Nablus seemed to have fizzled out into what's really a very desultory confrontation uh, between about a dozen Palestinian youths throwing rocks and the IDF. Uh, the Israeli forces who set up a checkpoint at the entrance to the city. Today was meant to be a day of rage for uh, the young Palestinians. It's a day of rage called by Hamas, but it seems the IDF on the one hand and the Palestinian Authority on the other seems to have clamped down the protest, here at least. Uh, there remains to be seen what happens at the end of today.